as you can see uh, I got that uh, gauge hooked up in place of the cold start valve here on the fuel rail all those hoses will be replaced they need to be replaced so after examining them I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't use that so I will definitely suggest that the guy buys them all new and and replace them anyway as you can see fuel gauge hooked up normal fuel nothing fancy regular uh, fuel injection gauge uh, hooked up in the place of a cold start valve so we kind of kill two birds with one stone here because what we are doing is preventing extra fuel from going into the intake uh, by means of the cold start valve actually uh, i lost uh, about half of the black smoke coming out of the rear pipes when i uh, prevented that from happening so so that's uh, that's good news you know uh, we'll, all needs to be done is just that uh, cold start valve needs to be replaced or repaired uh, for now it's just disconnect completely out of the system Okay, so that's what uh, will need to be adjusted. Here is our fuel pressure regulator. And uh, as you could uh, see on that introduction video, this was bouncing around 40. Actually, initial test was even touching 50 uh, PSI, which is way too high, which is almost double the pressure that's needed right there. So I will put this on, uh, on a tripod and see if I can... Um, if I can quickly show you, zoom in and show you, the adjustment is very simple, very easy, you know, anyone can do it. Kids and daycare should be able to do it. You're just turning two screws, that's it. Uh, so, let me see, let me show you how it's done. Okay, so you start the car and as you can see right now the pressure is bouncing around 40 which is way too high um, so all I need to do now is just open that valve right there okay right uh, so you use uh, 13 mil to open it up and then 10 to actually regulate the pressure to so I'm taking the needle out to reduce the pressure to reduce to release the pressure the engine's running like garbage now though so around the wall that's quite a bit still around 30 was still too high Still too high. Okay, 30 psi. So, as you can see right now, uh, we are 30 psi. So, by the book, we're supposed to be at 28. We're supposed to be at 28, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it at 30 at this moment, just lock the nut in place and uh, try to correct all those ignition problems, because as you can see, the engine is shaking like crazy. But the whole fuel pressure adjustment is so simple that, uh, uh, you know, if you can change your oil, you can definitely uh, set your fuel pressure. Just get yourself a gauge, 20, 30 bucks for the gauge, plug it in place of the... Um, a cold start valve 
and then you can set the proper pressure yourself or you can at least test it right okay so that's about it for uh, for now it's sunday so i'm not gonna be uh, doing any more testing on it like i plan on doing some testing tomorrow so another video coming up tomorrow thank you and have a great sunday <laughs>